What up YouTube, it is your man Julio Greasy here yet again, and this video is a video that I've been thinking about doing for a while, uh, actually for probably about my entire channel career, I've been thinking about doing this video because I thought that I'd be a big hit in the YouTube community, but I'm not because I guess I'm just not funny or whatever, I don't know, um, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to make a video where I talked primarily about myself, I was going to have my friend ask me a couple questions, but this was like years ago, like, like one and a half years ago and I scrapped this idea because of the fact that I never blew up like I thought I would and so I just decided to you know just reveal a little bit about myself personally um I mean I do do that in my like my vlogs my rants and all my other like random shit that I do but uh these are just like general questions that I think you guys would like the answer to um so first question people are thinking about why Julio Greaser all right Julio Greaser comes from um, the book The Outsiders um, that I read back in seventh grade I believe and it pitted two social groups the greasers and the socias and the greasers I, I sided with the greasers because you know the point of view of the book and I really like the book and they were just cool like that you know so I got an Xbox for Christmas and I really liked that book so I had to come up with a gamer tag so I put my first name which is actually Julio and then I needed like a surname or something I didn't want to put numbers and stuff because I had to remember it so I put Greaser. So my Xbox Live Gamer tag is Julio Greaser. And then um, it kind of stuck uh, because all my friends from school uh, always played Xbox with me. They call me Greasy, Greaser, you know, all that. And it kind of worked with my hair. As you can tell, that my hair is very inconspicuous in the videos now because I don't want to take the time to, you know, ready myself for it. Because believe it or not, the hair takes, I mean, it doesn't take a lot of time. It just. It's kind of annoying to do because especially for just a video but uh, if I'm going out or something I probably do it and then yeah so it worked primarily with my hair and um so it kind of just stuck with me and uh, when I got to college my hair was completely shaven like well not completely but it was gone I didn't so nobody knew me as that so only my old friends really refer to me as that um, but my friend my friends now know of me still because the way that I do it um and the thing is, Julio Greaser on YouTube, if you read the About Me, I kind of tried to say what it was about, but this is, I'm going to do it now because I feel like I'm better at speaking it than, you know, typing it out because I suck at writing things out. So Julio Greaser is basically a persona that I have, okay? I mean, like I said before, I, I, the, like, I, the person that I acted to be, but Hurley Greaser is basically me, but completely laid back. I don't give a fuck about anything, really. I don't give a fuck what you do, what, what you stand for, or anything. You can do what you want, and I'll accept you. Um, I'm always gonna be honest. That didn't happen until, um, about four years ago in an event that I haven't shared with anybody, and I'm not gonna share it with you guys either, because I don't think it's appropriate. Um, an event that triggered this made me have to be pretty much 100% honest because I know the fact of if I get caught up in a lie and anything bad happens, I'd rather hear the honest truth and be hurt right then than have a lie string out forever as long as possible, you know, and hurt you in the end. So it was me being honest about, and, um, and it's kind of me, you know, being... Like, I don't want to say stereotypical tough guy, but the thing is, like, I don't want to back down from any challenge, you know, because I know life's going to throw you a bunch of obstacles and stuff like that. But I, this, this attitude that I had made me not afraid to do things that I've normally done, you know, because without that, I wouldn't have met some of the people that I've met. I wouldn't have had confrontations with people that I haven't had. But the thing is, those confrontations make break a lot of things, you know, and, um, you know, you never have a real best friend unless you've actually had an argument, which pretty much pitted you against each other, and, and it's weird, because my best friends, I'm not gonna name names, but my best friends are, it's weird, because the fact is, pretty much every single one of my best friends, I started out not liking them, which is weird, um, I remember my, my, my really, really best friend, um, he was a weird kid, and I didn't want to, like, be associated with him. No one, none of my, actual, like, my other friends wanted to associate with him. So I kind of, like, just cast him aside a little bit. I kind of, like, tried to keep a distance, but, like, there was just a connection there. And then it clicked. Um, one of my other best friends, um, first time I saw him, I tried to kill him inside of a classroom, which was funny. Um, I almost got in trouble for doing that, too, because there was a teacher in the class when I almost 
did that. And then another one of my friends I didn't really get to know until my senior year, and we got really, like, we bonded really fast over that. Uh, in college, I hated uh, one of my friends uh, from the get-go, but, um, you know, it just it's just the way it works. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like the thing with the best friends is you don't, I don't want people to know me, you know, so like when they try to, like when they're getting in there, I kind of try to repel them as much as possible because I don't want anyone to like know who I am. I, I'm still trying to figure out who I am, but the thing is I have a general idea of who I am, but when people are trying to get in and trying to know what I mean, it's just like, I don't want that. But then eventually I, uh, come through, um, I have two pets. I have two dogs. I love my dogs to death. Uh, if you guys don't know, my major in college is zoology because I love animals. Um, ever since I was a kid, I've uh, my favorite animals always been gorillas and monkeys. Uh, my favorite's the silverback gorilla, but monkeys just in general, I just love them so much. My mom said that when she was a, when she was younger, she loved them too. So I guess I get that from my mom. But um, something you may have not known is that. Uh, when I was a kid, pretty much whenever my parents went on vacation, they'd always bring me back a stuffed monkey. And um, I know I'm a dude and I'm old and stuff, but I have stuffed monkeys like in my room still. Um, I used to have like a whole collection, but then my parents tossed it. But uh, they kept all my monkeys because they knew they were souvenirs back when I was a kid, and they mean a lot to me. Um, I don't really like do anything special with them. I just kind of keep them lying around. But uh, yeah, their monkeys just mean a lot, and. Uh, Ever since I was young, I've had a connection with animals. I don't know, like, how. It's just, like, I've always found it fascinating how they were. I've always had really close connections with my dogs. Um, even other people's dogs, like, just find me and, like, come to me because, I don't know, I guess I have, like, this aura. My dad used to work with the dogs um, back when they were legal where I was. So I feel like I could get that from him, too, because animals love him, too, because he just has this aura, too. Um... Yes, I'm in college. I'm a college student. I am in the New England area. If you guys, I'm not going to be specific here because you guys might be hunter killers and like shank me or whatever. So, but I do live in New England. I live on the East Coast. Um, and like I said, uh, Julio Greaser is this persona. But the thing is, the persona is part of my real life. Um, I do act tough, but like. You know, it's just, it's, cause like, I have a, a rough exterior, but when you get to know me, I, I'm, I'm well knowing, and see, this is, this is why this video is weird, because, like I said, the new year's, like, changing me, like, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm really changing, it's just, people have called me kind, they've called me nice, they call me sweet, they call me all the, like, names for, like, a good person, and... I don't feel like I'm those kind of things, you know? I Then they're trying to describe me. I'm just like, I'm just me, all right? Like, you can't use any words to, to explain who I am because I don't fit any category. I, I'm a whole versatile, like, thing. Um, so I can be nice. I can be sweet. I can be kind. But I'm not those things. I can be those things, but I am not... That I'm not that person because I I can be an asshole. I can be I can be whatever I want to be, you know. The thing is I don't know limitations because I don't try to keep myself in the box. Ever since I was young, my mom thought that I'd be something special. Um, going this is more uh, going back into the past. In kindergarten, I wrote everything backwards. I wrote, did the alphabet backwards, wrote everyone's names backwards, and people thought I was dyslexic, and even uh, some people thought that I had, um, what's it called? Not Asperger's, um, whew. autism. There we go, the other A1, I'm sorry. Uh, they thought I had autism because I was really particular of what I did. I did everything backwards, and when I was in first grade, I lined up my toys and like rows and columns. I did very organized and everything, and I was just really smart for my age. So people thought that I was like I had a disability because of the fact is like I was I, I wasn't I don't think I was antisocial though. That's that's why it was like weird for them. But then once I got in there, I started doing my thing, and then around fourth grade, um, I was 
I was really, really, I don't know how to say that, but I was just really far ahead of everyone else, just mentally. And like, I finished my work in minutes while I took the whole class, the whole period. And I'd always act out because I'd be, you know, I'd be impatient. I wouldn't be able to sit still for that long because of the fact is I was done and I wanted something else to preoccupy my time. So when I went to middle school, I was able to find things to preoccupy my time. High school, same. Um, and now, the thing is, I am, another thing you should know about me, I'm really lazy, so I don't like to do work. I don't like to do things. I do do them, I can do them, because the fact is, I know things need to be done, but the thing is, I'm not going to go out of my way to do it, you know, because I'm, I'm lazy, I'm generally lazy, but the thing is, people find it weird, because people know hard workers and lazy people. I'm probably one of the hard, hardest working lazy people you ever meet. I'm not going to go out and try to do things. Yeah, I'm going to sleep all, all I want and do everything. But the thing is, if you're going to give me a task that I need to do, I'm going to do it thorough. And I'm going to do it pretty much the best that I can. Because, you know, why, if I want to have to take the time to do it, why not just do it right the first time so I don't have to go do it again, you know? So, that's just another thing about me. I, they, they didn't know what to say I was when I was a kid and they always thought I'd be on to great things and I never really expected to be the person that I am right now because you know like cause life is just weird like that people always thought I'd be like Ivy League schools people always thought I'd be like like person who dropped out of school too because of the fact is where I grew up and how my attitude is because I I don't like taking things seriously um, I'm funny. I like to make every situation funny. I like everything to not be so serious because if you take things seriously, life just like, you know, it kind of like, you know, it kind of like diminishes life because people are so stressed over the, like the seriousness. But the thing is I can be serious when needed because I know how to act serious because I'm not, I'm not going to like be laughing at some dead guy's funeral. That's just disrespectful, you know? But me, I know how to be serious. Like, I know how to touch my inner seriousness. There are times where people know that I'm really serious because of the fact is they they know that I'm just sitting in a corner minding my own business instead of trying to, you know, know other people, like uh, talking, incorporating, entertaining people like I usually do. So that's when they know something is up with me. But, um... Like I said, because of the new year and how I'm changing, it's really weird how things are because I was just talking to my friends and I'm talking completely normal. It's just like I'm not acting any differently. It's just the fact is I'm not caring anymore, you know, because like people are saying things and doing whatever. I'm just like, yeah, like I'm having a good time. I'm happy. I'm doing glorious things. And 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 like, I mean, uh, I mean, what are you going to do? It's only been a couple days while I'm doing this, but I mean, like, this new attitude I feel like is fitting me. I know this has become more of a, like, get to know me and then get to know me now. Like, you know, the contrast. It's kind of weird, but what are you going to do? So, I feel like this... See, it's helping me with some things, and then other things it's kind of not. But then I feel like with time, it's going to knock it right out because the thing is like I can't just shut off my feelings like that like my well, it's a gradual change it's a shift and people can sense the shift and people think that there's something wrong with me like actually wrong like they think I'm upset or something and I'm just like I'm fine like I honestly am fine I just have no cares in the world right now because the fact is it's gonna just get me nothing but you know hurt like I said before. So I don't really need to care anymore. People don't like it when I tell them no either because the thing is they're like, do this, do this, do this, do this. And I'm just like, no, I'm doing me. I'm, Because I remember my mom told me to make her a cup of coffee and I'm just like, I'm, I'm no, well, I'm not going to do it because, I mean, I know it would be helpful and my mom's done so much for me, but I just need to worry about me right now because, like, that's that's it, you know? I just need to because, like, if I don't learn how to be this person that can take care of myself now, I don't think I'll be able to do it later, and that, that can be very detrimental to anything in life. You know, I don't know. I'm not a fucking psychic. I can't predict these things. But this new attitude 
it's helped me out. Uh, I just gave you guys an inside look of Julio Greaser. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to post them down in the comments. I'll make another. I'll make more videos. I'll make a Q and A. I'll look at your questions because if you guys don't know, I read every single one of the comments that come down in my uh, videos because of the fact is I don't get a lot, so it's like a little light reading. It's not that big. And I always reply back too. Like it's just. Because I just like to be in touch with my audience, and I know just because of the fact I don't have that many subscribers that it's easy to do that. But I mean, I feel like if I get an, even enough people like to watch my videos and comment down below, I'll try to reply to my, them as much as possible. And if I can't reply to all of them, you know what I'd do? I'd probably make a video and be like, <laughs> and say whatever I need to say, you know? Or answer all the questions, you know? Like a Q&A video, like I said. But, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I kind of got sidetracked a lot, and I talked more about this coming, like, the year that's going on right now instead of, like, past. But there's a little past stories thrown in there. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed, like I said. Um, oh, not one more thing before, because you guys know my signature uh, sign-out piece, Butt Grease, Middle East, Priest, Touch Little Boys, uh, Grease Out, right? Uh, I didn't realize, but... I started saying peace out in my old videos. I said peace out instead of grease out, but then I realized peace and grease are similar in, you know, tone and what they kind of rhyme. They're like soft rhymes, but it, it's close. So I, I turned it to grease out since I'm the greaser. And then, um, yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed. Um, peace, butt grease. That comes from Only Use Me Blade. Love you, Blade. Uh, uh, yeah, I love Blade. I, I love Call of Duty, too, if you guys didn't know. But, okay, I'm getting sidetracked now. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace, butt grease, Middle East, priest that touch little boys, all that jazz. All right, grease out, homies.